Hi, um, this is our rainbow trout collection. Today is April the 30th, 2018. These are little rainbow trout we've raised from, we've raised them from eggs. So I figured out a few minutes ago they're seven months old. And you can definitely see in the larger ones, you can definitely see, I'm going to track this one, see that pink that's showing up on its side. Some of them are about just under five inches we're trying to estimate every time we pull a um, yardstick up there, they swim away. But they're pretty nice. They're very pretty. I'm going to back off so you can see. It's a very full tank and it's a pretty nasty tank too. Um, that sponge that's on, that's that sponge right there, I just replaced it one week ago. It's incredibly nasty. Um, there's just, it's just too many fish and they're too big. So most of them, I cannot see a single one that is under two inches. Uh, some we had one. My first one died um, in a long time. The first one to die was a week ago today. Um, I actually put it down humanely. It was um, it was sucked against this intake over here. That that pipe right there. That's the intake for the um, filter, and it was set just up against it, and it was having a hard time breathing, and it had some hemorrhaging in its stomach area so I um, the way to humanely put them down if in case you never did know uh, I read it on the internet one time it is to uh, put them in a bag of their own water and put them in the freezer that's the kindest way to put them down if they're suffering but um, I'm gonna put my block the reflections a little bit See, they're just beautiful. There's one really huge one back here, although it looks so tiny now. It's very huge, but um, I have one that has a missing gill cover. I don't see it right now. It's one of the more medium-sized ones. They're thinking I'm going to feed them. They're very, very tame right now. But I'm going to zoom in on some of them. Hopefully they won't swim away so that you can see them. There's a, just a choice one. Such a beautiful color. My niece and nephew are here. And my niece is playing with something that makes making noise in the background. I wish she wasn't doing it. I don't know if you can just make out. I just think that one's spectacular. But it's hard to track them. They don't cooperate very well. Uh, I like the little white tips on them too. But uh, tomorrow I'm going to probably make a video of their part of their release. They're going to, some people from our local chapter of Trout Unlimited will come and they're going to put them in a, get a trash bag, white trash bag. It's going to be white so they can see them better when they put them in. They'll, they'll have that in a chiller. They'll have some ice. Oh, there's a one right there that's wounded. I'm tracking it right now. It's on its left gill plate. It's um, and it's when it turns around. You see, see, it's uh, because of the poor water quality. I'm just hoping it doesn't feel any pain. But uh, they're gonna. They need to be released really badly. I'm doing a lot of water changes, um, and the water quality is still not good. There's just so many, but they're pretty amazing. I don't think they're really suffering. I think they're used to it. Except for, you know, when I just can't, can't change it that day. But, um, anyway, tomorrow we're going to have some people come and they're going to take out part of the water and they're going to net up all the fish and they're going to put them in a big cooler that has a trash bag in it and there's going to be some ice underneath it. Then they're going to take them down to the river and they're going to acclimate them to the water there by, um, so making trying to make the temperature match by soaking them in the river, I guess, and in the trash, trash bag, and by adding a little bit of water um, every now and then just to get them used to that. Probably excellent water quality compared to this. I wish you could see that one big one in the back, how huge he is. He's just, I think you can see him, I'm focusing, he's dead center there. Or she, I don't know. It's really a big fish. 
they're just very pretty we're excited anyway and um, I'm gonna show you Bob again there's some other fish under there not just Bob now more fish than normal I'm gonna try to focus in on one let's see if I can get it to focus it's just so hard to focus on them it's they're very pretty sometimes if you look so close you can see their individual little scales and they're just they just gleam they're so pretty anyway Till tomorrow.